I'm David with the Barbecue Lab, and today we're going to take a deep dive into the Flame Boss 500 Wi Fi Smoker Controller Kit. If you're ready to put your Kamado grill on autopilot, you're going to want to stay tuned for this one. Let's start with some of the product information. The Flame Boss 500 Wi-Fi Smoker Controller Kit comes with the following. It starts with the FB500 Wi-Fi controller, also a blower fan for temperature control. It comes with adapters for multiple Kamado grills. No matter what you have, the, there's an adapter for it, and quite a few are included in the box. There's a high temp meat probe. There's a high temp pit probe. There's two probe cable organizers, which I gotta tell you, those are fantastic. And then a controller power supply. Now the measurement range for these probes on the high temp side is right around 475 degrees. You wanna make sure that when you're using these probes that you're not putting them in a raging inferno of a 600, 700 degree Kamado because those, these probes aren't made for that. But they will go up to 475 degrees, but that's something you should know about when you're thinking about grilling versus smoking. Now, when it comes to accuracy of this unit, we've actually found this unit to be very accurate when tested against our Thermoworks Thermopin. Now, we'll stick the probe for the Flame Boss and the probe for the Thermopin in the same point of a piece of meat, and we'll be within one degree of each other, which is, which is fantastic for a thermometer comparison. Usually when you introduce two thermometers to a comparison, uh, what you have is a fight almost every time. And for those things to be within one degree of each other is actually dynamite. Now that really speaks well to Flame Boss because we found the Thermapin to be a fantastic benchmark. Now the display on this unit is backlit and we like that when we're outside doing any kind of a cook, especially in the dark because it's hard to see. And that backlight is really, really nice to be able to see what's on the screen. Now this unit ships with two thermometers. There's one meat probe and there's also one air temp probe, but it can take up to a total of four thermometers into the unit. So if you're using it as a controller, you have one for the ambient temperature or air temperature, and then three others for meat. If you're not using it as a controller and you just have four temperature probes, it can also take those as well. Now the 500 series is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi which really means that your range is unlimited because what this does is it connects to the cloud and by connecting to the cloud you just download an app on your device and that app will actually allow you to connect to the Flame Boss 500 wherever you are. Now since this unit will primarily be used outside we always want to talk about the waterproof rating on the unit and that's something that has not been tested by the manufacturer so I can't tell you what the waterproof rating is but if it hasn't been tested by the manufacturer, it's probably not something you want to leave out in the rain. Now there's a bunch of different solutions for that. One thing that we've seen is you take a Rubbermaid container, cut a couple of slits out for the cables, and then you can put it in a waterproof uh, container. Another one is just taking a bowl, setting it upside down on top of the unit. And another one would be even making a tent out of aluminum foil, well, since you probably have that while you're out smoking anyway, take an aluminum tent and just tent over the top to keep it out of that water. Now the 500 series does have audible alarms that can be switched on or switched off depending on how you'd like that to sound. The nice thing is you can set that to sound on your app on your phone or you can set it to sound at the actual FB500 unit itself no matter where you have it that way you'll hear that sound letting you know that you've reached temperature or that you've actually lost temperature in the fire. Now there are multiple probe types available from Flame Boss. You have the ambient great temperature probe and that can be ordered from the website as well as straight probes and angled probes. The probes also come in different colors and on the website we see red, green, black, and orange as options. Now the Flame Boss comes with a one year warranty and also there's a 30 day money back guarantee so you get a chance to use it in real life settings and see how you like it and they back their product up. Now I want to cover a few of the cooks that we did using the Flame Boss to manage the fire and also temperature the meat that we were cooking. We started by doing a reverse sear on some filet mignon on the Vision Grills S-Series. The Vision S-Series actually responds really well to the Flame Boss allowing it to control the fire through that electric starter port. 
Now that's one that doesn't come standard with the Flame Boss, but you can actually ask for it when you buy it and you can get that scent with it as well to make sure you have it fit for your grill. Now that filet mignon turned out fantastic and I love the reverse sear of bringing it up slow and then searing it at the end. And the Flame Boss not only managed the fire for us, but also let us know exactly when the meat was ready to be pulled and put on the sear. Another recipe that we did was called Huli Huli Chicken. It's one of our favorite marinades. And Huli Huli Chicken has a lot of sugar in it, so that ended up being a little bit of a faster cook. But that faster cook still did fantastic with the Flame Boss managing the fire for us. But this is one that we didn't actually put the temperature probes in because we were over that 475 degree mark. We also cooked a marinated pork loin, and that was great because that was an indirect cook and we were trying to stay under the 300 degree mark. And what we were able to do was stick the probe into the middle of the center of the meat, as well as let the fan control the fire for us. And that cook was fantastic. It had a great flavor and a nice crust on the outside that built up over time. And we were really, really happy with how the Flame Boss performed. Now the latest thing we cooked with the FB500 was using it as a thermometer to let us know how a brisket flat was doing over a long cook that we did. Now the unit performed admirably and it let us know notifications right to our phone, which was great. Now with each review that we do, we like to cover the things that we loved and the opportunities for improvement with any piece of gear that goes through the lab. I love that the Flame Boss 500 has the ability to take a charcoal Kamado from the point of lighting it all the way up to your desired temperature. That's something that not all pit controllers can do and the Flame Boss really did a great job with this. Lighting a charcoal Kamado is easily accomplished in just a few steps. First, you want to make sure that you've filled the bottom of the Kamado with charcoal, and you really want to just light the center of that charcoal. You can use a Weber lighter cube, or you can use a tumbleweed, anything that you want to be able to get that fire going. But once that fire is to the point where it can't be easily snuffed out, that's when you go ahead and put your diverter plate in and your grate on top. Then clip on the pit probe and close the lid. Now once you have the lid closed, you attach the blower to the front of the unit and close the top vent almost all the way. Now we're talking just a little sliver open. Now if the temp actually overshoots by more than 10 degrees, all you have to do is close the top, wait for it to stabilize, then reopen the top a small amount and your Kamado is up to speed. Another thing we really liked about the 500 series is the magnetic base. If you want to be able to stick this to your grill and your grill is metal, it has a magnetic base and it's not going to go anywhere, which is a really cool feature that we like, especially as we deal with wind. I mean, you can see right now, you can hear it in the audio, it's crazy windy out here. These are the conditions we cook in every day, and I love that there's a magnetic base so this thing doesn't slide around on the grill. Now, the 500 series also connects to both Google and Alexa devices. There are many, many different commands you can give to Google and Alexa to be able to control and understand what's happening out on the grill. Now, let's just cover a few opportunities for improvement. One thing that I would love to see on this would be a larger display. Now, there's a great display on there, but I would love to be able to see it become much larger and maybe even touch sensitive. That'd be a great upgrade for this unit. Now, a second opportunity is, remember, this unit is not waterproof, so you just have to plan accordingly. If you're not gonna use a Rubbermaid with notches cut out, you're not gonna make a tent or an upside down bowl, another option would be just a zip top bag that you could slide it into and make sure that the opening is face down so that no water's gonna run into it. I'd love to see this unit be waterproof or at least water resistant, because I can't tell you how many times I've been cooking out at the grill and all of a sudden a rainstorm pops out of nowhere and I'm running for my equipment. Now here's a couple of pro tips if you're gonna be picking up the Flame Boss 500 for yourself. When you're getting ready to clip your pit probe on for your ambient temperature, it's best to place it within one or two inches from the meat that you're cooking. That way you're getting the temperature at the source of cooking. Another tip is make sure that you don't use your probes over a direct flame or high heat higher than 475 degrees. Also, make sure you don't pinch the cables to your probes in the lid or the firebox of your grill. As is with almost every manufacturer out there, these probes are not made to go in the dishwasher and these probes aren't waterproof. So these probes are a hand wash only and make sure that you remember that before someone else in your family or someone helping you clean up throws them in the dishwasher. So overall, what did we think about this unit? The Flame Boss 500 is a set it and forget it pit controller that helps you get more done than just managing your fire. If you're the type that likes to set your Kamado to run and then go do things while it cooks, 
this is the device for you. The FB500 allows you to run around town knowing that everything on the grill is proceeding as planned. It's as easy as checking in on the app and making changes on the fly and letting the flame boss manage things for you. Kids have a baseball game and you want pulled pork for dinner? No problem. It's like having a full-time pitmaster on demand while you continue with your busy schedule. If you'd like to check the current price in the 500 series, just check the link in the description below. If you're considering a purchase, go ahead and check that link out. And if you make a purchase using that link, it just helps our channel. It helps us make sure that we can keep the videos coming for you. Now, if you're active on social media, if you're on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, make sure that you go ahead and follow us on those channels because we try to let you know of any of the sales that we're aware of in the barbecue world. We also post behind the scenes and recipes all the time, and we'd love to be able to join you on those networks so that you can know the best and forget the rest. Now, while you're still here on YouTube, consider giving us a thumbs up and liking this video if you really did like this video. All that does is allows us to reach more people and help improve their backyard cooking game. If you'd like to see more videos just like this one, consider hitting that subscribe button and even the notification bell so that you don't have to come chasing us down looking for new videos. You'll just be notified when new videos come out so you can learn what the best new gear is in outdoor cooking and outdoor living. I'm David from the Barbecue Lab. I want to say thanks so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you next time. I don't know what to do. It's just so windy. <laughs> like I'm standing here waiting for the wind to die down. I don't think it's going to. Now, if you'd like to check... Come on, wind. I'm almost done. Come on. Wait, that's loud. Yep. <laughs> Maybe we'll just pause for a second. <laughs> The wind. You can hear it coming like a train. <laughs> As the wind blows everything over in our vicinity. Mm -hmm. Shooting outside is hard. Mm -hmm. And Kyle's in the backyard a couple yards away. He's getting the grill cover. <laughs> covering something up. Welcome to YouTube, Kyle.